check one two one two wicked 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 how you guys doing this is uh your your, your friend and uh trusted tech advisor shane battier the houston rockets with yet another adventurous uh episode of uh the latest and greatest in, in technology and this is probably the, the toughest challenge that we've had to date um, as you can see my Hoop Magazine t-shirt. Um, I'm a big music guy and I play the, the guitar a little bit, I can play the trumpet. Um, I wanted to test the waters with something else and something new and exciting, uh, the world of DJing. So for today you can call me DJ Shaney B. I've been to many uh, a dance club but never uh, got behind the, the one and twos uh, and mixed and, and uh, and after going through this review and trying to learn today's product, I have a newfound respect for, for all DJs out there. Well, here we are uh, with the Newmark iDJ2. You have two, two bays that control uh, the sound, and this is where you would plug in. Where's the iPod? <laughs> I don't know where my iPod is right now. Today we are using a, just a, a simple old Geek Squad USB that plugs in right into the back. Uh, you can also uh, hook up your your computer, uh, your PC or your Mac, and and use that as uh, your source of music. You have two different uh, bays to control two sources of music. Uh, it has everything that your normal DJing uh, station has. You have on the one side uh, knobs that control the bass, the mids, the trebles, uh, and the gains. Uh, you have your your tempo slider, you slow the tempo down or speed it up. Um, you have uh, your cue, your pause, and your, and your play buttons right here. And you have your standard loop in, loop out, reloop, uh, which is which is a great feature uh, to find um, a beat that you love in a song. And um, you also have the ability to to scratch the scratch button there if you want to. Wiki wiki wiki. You can get that going as well. On the front, you have uh, your volume adjusters right here. You have your, your crossfader right here. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature. Uh, this uh, measures the actual, the, the, actually the beat of the songs uh, electronically and allows you to crossfade a little easier, try to match up beats with different songs a little, a little easier. And for today's sake, we just have eight songs uh, loaded on the new mark, and uh, we're going to try to to mix a couple of these and make it sound pretty good in a second. Which is going to be tough to do. We're not, I'm not very good. Um, and there are uh, a lot of inputs and outputs for uh, different speaker lines. So it really has everything that you, that you need um, to, to throw down, be it at a bar mitzvah or, a, or grandpa's uh, 95th birthday party. Just like that. You got Britney Spears, and uh, like we said before, you can control the tempo, speed it up. This song came out when I was in high school. It makes me feel kind of old. I can't believe it. I used to think Britney was, was the cat's meow, if you know what I mean. Like I said before, you have the scratching ability, so if you want to wicka, 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 wicka. Now at the same time we want to say we want to hear David Bowie under pressure on the other side. Alright, so you just find that in your library and you press send it to the B side. And instantly it's on the B side. Let's play it over here and crossfaded. Simple as that. Now that doesn't take much skill. Uh, we're gonna try to lay that beat on top of another song. So to try to get the lyrics of one song um, with the beat of Michael Jackson Thriller guitar solo. So we're going to try Crazy by Norris Barkley and uh, see how that works out for us. So I cue it up and put it on the B side. So the real skill comes in in trying to match the beats and make sure that they, 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 match, they match up, uh, which is tough to do. Now it helps to have the electronic uh, beat matcher. So we're going to take the bass out, um, 
and turn up the treble a little bit. So at the right time, very slowly, we're gonna fade over and try to get both of them. That's terrible. <laughs> if, if you really got good at this and you wanted to uh, set up a mix for your parties, you could record this to your computer um, and, and have like your own your own mix. And uh, there are also capabilities of this to hook up to GarageBand on, on iTunes and uh, add different drum beats and, and, and whatnot. And, uh, so it really is a, is a versatile machine. This is what it's about. It's about expanding horizons, trying new things, um, trying new technology. And this is a great piece of technology. And so uh, thank you guys for, for watching yet another blog. Hope you had a good, a good time or at least a good laugh at my expense. I know I did. If you want to see something reviewed, uh, please just go to Hoop Magazine, hoopmag.com, and, uh, and email us your suggestions. We'd love to get suggestions from our, our loyal viewers and, and readers and uh, try to bring you what you want to see and hear about. So till next time guys, sayonara.